Right, good morning folks and welcome to this week's video. As you can see by the uh, slider down below there, there's another company to add to our collection of great outdoor companies that sponsor this channel. So um, we're going to take a look at one of their uh, jackets this week. So without further ado, let's head to the intro. Right, so we're back down on my beach. We're up at Cove Hive today. We're gonna to go for a long, long walk along the cliff. We did try this a couple of weeks ago, but we got stopped by the weather. Bloody hell. This cliff has been destroyed. This, so two weeks ago, this was all straight, all the way along here. So this has had a bit of a battering. We've had a few northerlies the last couple of weeks, so there's been some cracking surf up the North Norfolk coast. Um, we're on a high tide at the moment. There's not much groundswell, but these, uh, these cliffs have really taken a battering. Right, so as mentioned in the intro there, yeah, just like to welcome Fiona along onto the ambassadorship for uh, Vildmark. Um, I submit this company about two years ago. I think when I purchased one of their waterproof jackets, the Orcan, which I've absolutely loved. So the post has been pretty much the most clicked on post on the blog. So people are definitely interested in that, that jacket. So, um, so yeah, here we are today with one of their jackets on. We've got a down jacket on today that we're trying out. This is the, the Active. So uh, we're now walking north along a cliff we're just going to head up to, uh, there's an old pillbox past the broad up here. We're going to sit down there and we're going to have a look at this jacket and show you what it's all about. Um, there's loads of stuff left over from the Second World War along this cliff and I've just noticed something just down here which has just shown its face out of the cliff since the last uh, part of this cliff has fallen down so it looks to be a stanchions for some form of post I know for a fact that down the beach further down there there's a load of bricks and stuff and I think that was a communications post that was based up here in one of my previous videos um, it's when we found a World War II bunker up in the woods further down there. Um, so there's loads of stuff littered around the beach here. And I've just noticed this just popping its face out of the side of the cliff. So this ain't going to be long before this is on the beach. Wind's dropped off a little bit now, so it's a bit, a bit warmer, sun staying out as well. Right, so we're just gonna head past Benwick Abroad. We're just gonna go up to the beach, a little bit further up there, and uh, we'll take a look at this, uh, this down jacket by Fionn. Right, look at this ahead here. This pillbox, six months ago, was at the bottom of the cliff. 
Now look at it. Right, I'll just get my bag off and let's take a look at this jacket, shall we? First thing that I like about this jacket is the fit. I'm a standard XL and a lot of the jackets that I buy, I tend to find that with a little bit of movement they ride up the back, they come up the cuffs of your arms, but this is absolutely perfect fit for me as a standard XL jacket. The jacket itself is a completely sustainable, you know, responsibly sourced uh, down jacket. So the jacket itself is made out of ripstop nylon. It's got a durable water re repellent on the top of it as well. The down inside of it is, uh, is uh, coated as well. So in general, looking at the jacket, you've got two sort of hip pockets on the each side here. You've got a chest pocket on the side on the left side here. You can actually pack the jacket up into one of the side pockets as well, but I'll show you that a little bit later. Really what I love about this jacket is the hood. Let's take a look at the hood. So you've got a really, really, really good sized hood here with a nice peak as well. The hood itself, you've got two adjustable elastics on the sides here, so you can pull these and get yourself really snug inside of your hood as well. They're a bit fiddly to release. You've got two bits of plastic, one each side of the hood here, which is clipped onto the side of the hood, and the elastic sort of catches onto that, so you just need to push that in at the bottom. You can readjust your hood. So it does state that one of the zips, one of the pockets you can use to roll the jacket up inside, it is the pocket on the right-hand side because that zipper is the only two-way zipper. So just start by filling the, pushing the jacket inside the pocket, like so. And then just reversing the zip, the jacket rolls up inside of the pocket. So that's quite a nice little thing as well. Just remember, don't store your jacket like this all the time. You need to have your down out of this. For things like camping and stuff like that, it'll, and walking, that'll be fine to store your coat like this, but don't store it full time like this. So this jacket is, is used for a, for a layering system as well. What I want to do is see how this works with the uh, Orcan uh, waterproof layer. Now the waterproof layer for me, I find a bit small for me, and that's an XL. I find that that definitely rides up my, up my arms. So what I'll do is I'll get the Orcan out of my bag, and we'll see how both uh, jackets work together as part of a good layering system. Right then, so I've got the Orcan out here. I've used this jacket now for well over a year. Uh, it's an absolute fantastic waterproof layer. I'll do a review on this as well. Like I say, it is a very, very popular product. This is probably the most visited post on my blog. This is uh, the review on this jacket. Uh, so I've used this one for about a year now. Um, Fiona been absolutely fantastic with questions. Um, it was losing its beading capability and, and just sending them an email just asking the best way to actually get this back to how it was. They've been absolutely fantastic in giving advice on how to get this back and it is still after listening to what they've said, it is still an absolute fantastic waterproof layer. So I'm going to stick this on and we'll see how this looks and how it feels with uh, the active um, down jacket. Right, how does it feel with an XL Orcan? does feel a bit tight to be perfectly honest, especially around here on myself. Like I said before, I do find that this jacket does ride up my back whenever I bend over. So this is an XL Orcan. Um, it is a bit snug for me, I think. I think that it's actually compressing the jacket underneath, so I think I'm losing a little bit of loft. So probably an XXL would suit me a little bit better. And that would also stop the jacket from riding up on my arm and on the back as well. Right, there we go. So that's a, just a very, very quick review on the uh, Fjern Active jacket here. Um, what I'm going to do is, I've seen a lovely little place just over there. I'm going to go and set up my uh, Eagle Kettle over there, get a brew on the go, and I've got a real Termat chicken soup to have for my lunch today. So this jacket, I absolutely love. I'm getting a bit warm now to the point where I'm going to need to take it off. We're sort of hidden away from the wind at the moment, so it's not so cold. Um, you know, 
what else can I say? It's a damn jacket. It looks really, really strong. It packs up pretty small. It weighs really, really light. It's just perfect to shove in your bag when you're out hiking while camping, or even if you're out doing what we're doing today, just walking the dog. It's an absolute brilliant bit of kit. So yeah, I definitely recommend giving this a go. You know, their whole ethos of Fjern is very, very similar to myself in the fact that they've got this sort of Scandinavian mindset on, on their products, hence the word Fjern. Even though it's a British company, it's that Scandinavian mindset of, you know, living the outdoors and just being one with nature. The products that I've tried so far, they're gonna last. They're really, really well made. And I wouldn't say that they are an extortionate amount of money for what you get out of it as well. There's definitely no false economy with any of the Fjern products that I've tried so far. So here's the Instagram link for Fjern. Give them a look, give them a follow, and uh, see what they've got to offer. Sometimes you wonder why you have dogs. So she just found a dead seal pup on the beach and she's just been rolling in it. I thought fox crap was the worst, but putrefied seal pup, flavored backseat of the car is uh, not gonna impress the missus. Or shall I just not wash her and let her sit on the missus's chair when I get home? <laughs> that would be evil. Thank you for watching this week's video. So there we go. That's just a review of the Fjern Active Down Jacket. So far, I'm really, really impressed with it. I'll stick a full specification to the uh, jacket in the description below and some further links to the Fjern website and also to the Sport Pursuit because you will find some flash sales of their items there where you can get a really, really good discount of their products. As always guys, there's the subscribe button just there. If you haven't clicked it before, please click the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you can get notified when the next video comes out. And there's a couple of videos just here for you to take a look at as well. And then hopefully we'll see you out on the next one.